Hello everyone and welcome to this video on the Python programming language and artificial intelligence or AI. So in this video I will attempt to predict the future price of cryptocurrencies using machine learning algorithms. More specifically I'm going to be using Facebook's or Meta's Profit which is a open source artificial intelligent machine learning based forecasting tool developed by Facebook's core data science team. All right now I'm currently on Google's website it's called colab.research.google.com and I'm on it because it makes it really easy to get started programming in Python. So if you're going to program along with me, just go to this website and then log in using your Google account to get started writing your Python code. All right. Again, if you're going to code along with me, do all of that and then click on file, click on new notebook and drive. This will create a new tab for you and eventually a new cell will open up for you. And before we write any code, if you want to get the code in this video that we're going to write, or the data sets that I'm going to be using or just support the channel, you can do that on Patreon at patreon.com slash computer science. Again, that's patreon.com slash computer science, and I will leave a link for that in the description below. All right, so let's go ahead and begin. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to import the libraries that I want to use for the program. So I'm going to import pandas as PD, and then from profit, I'm going to import profit with a capital P and then I'm going to import matplotlib lib dot pyplot as plt. All right and then I'm going to go ahead and run this by clicking that button here to the left. This will let me know if I made any mistakes. So we're just, just going to give it a little bit of time here and it shouldn't take too long and waiting for that little check and we get our check mark. All right. So let's go ahead and create a new cell by clicking that code button in the top left. And here I'm going to get the data that we're going to be using for this program. So I like what Google suggested here. I'm just going to tab over and I'm going to change a few things. So instead of DF here, we're going to create a variable called crypto underscore data. And I'm going to set that equal to PD. Oh, make sure I spell crypto properly. I'm going to set that equal to PD.read CSV. And I need to put in the name of the CSV file. And then here I'm going to change this DF to be crypto underscore data. And actually, I'm just going to get rid of that, that method dot head. All right, so here we're just going to show the data. And now if I run this, I'm going to get an error. All right, and that's because I have not uploaded. I'm not reading in any CSV file, and I'm not reading in any CSV file because I haven't uploaded it yet. So let's go over here to this files icon, click on the upload button, and I'm going to upload all three of these data sets here. So I want to click open after selecting them, and I get a little warning, and that's okay. So I want to click okay. And now we have all three of our data sets uploaded, so we can use either one of these. I'm going to use for now btc underscore crypto underscore data dot csv. I'm going to exit out the left pane. Let's go ahead and rerun this cell. And let's see, it did not like that for some reason. So let me open this up. Uh, it, we misspelled it, that's why. So btc underscore crypto underscore data and then underscore repaired dot CSV. All right, so let's exit this. Let's run this again. All right, and now we can see our data set. So we can see that we have two main columns here, DS and Y. DS contains the date and time, and Y contains the price of the asset, which in this case is Bitcoin. All right. And we can see that this data contains information from December 22, 2014, all the way to December 18, 2024. So we have 3,650 rows of data and, of course, about 10 years worth of data. So we can see that this asset has gone from $331 and about 88 cents or 89 cents all the way to $103,445.85. So from $331.88 cents to $103,445.85 cents in 10 years. All right, that's pretty significant. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a new cell. And what we're going to try to do here is we're going to try to predict the future price of Bitcoin about a year from now, 365 days from now. 
So right now I'm going to initialize and train a model. So I'm going to create a variable called model, set it equal to profit. Left parentheses, right parentheses. And then we're going to train the model by typing model.fit. And we're going to input our data set, which is crypto data. So just like Google suggested here. All right, so let's go ahead and run this cell. And while it's running, I want to create a new cell. Now that we have our model created, we're going to create a future data frame. All right, so that's just going to be a data frame with the days. So here, let's go ahead and put create a future data frame. So I like what Google suggested here. I'm going to just tab over. So it created a variable called future, and then it put model dot make future data frame and put in the 365 day period here. All right, and just to take a look at this, I'm going to click. I'm sorry, I'm going to type show data or show future data. How about show future data frame? All right, so let's go ahead and run this. And now we can see the future data frame. All right, so we look up here. We ended in 12, 18, 20, 24 for that data set. And so here we can see at the very bottom, we also in 12, 18, 20, 25, about a year later, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and create a new cell now that we have that. And let's predict the future prices of this crypto asset, all right? So I'm going to create a variable called predictions. And I'm going to set it equal to model.predict. And then we're going to input future there. OK. All right, so that looks good. And then let's go ahead and show, show the last seven rows of the model. How about that? So I'm just going to type predictions dot dot tail and we're going to input seven here all right so let's take a look at this see what it looks like so here are the last seven rows of data and we can see all of these columns here but i'm only interested in about three of these columns specifically i'm interested in the y hat column the ds column the Y hat lower column and the Y hat upper column. So let's just go ahead and print those. So here I'm going to put DS. Then I'm going to put Y hat. Now Y hat underscore lower. And then Y hat underscore upper. All right, so let's run this again. And now this looks a little bit cleaner. And what is this telling us? Well, this is telling us that for this asset, which is Bitcoin, we can expect the price to be about $114,192.28 by December 18th, 2025. And we can expect it to be as low as $99,973.96 during the same time period. And we can expect it to be no more than $128,356.16 by that same time period. Okay? So either way, that's still significant growth from where it currently is, which is... Let's see here. I say currently, but since from 1218, it was about $103,445.85. So what is that? That is about an extra $10,000 for this one asset in a year. Okay. So that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and create a new cell now that we have that information. And let's, let's plot the predictions.
Okay, so I'm gonna create a variable called fig. I'm gonna set it equal to model dot plot, and then we're gonna input predictions here. Okay, and let's give this plot a title. So I'm gonna put here cryptocurrency price prediction, and then I'm gonna give it a label on the x-axis. So I'm gonna type plt x label. And I'm going to input date for the x-axis. And then for the y-axis, I'm going to type plt dot label and put the price. I'm going to put a little dollar sign so that we know it's in USD. And then I want to show this. So I'm going to type plt dot show. And I also want a legend. So I'm going to type plt dot legend. Left parentheses, right parentheses. So let's go ahead and run this. And now we can see that same information more visually, right? So we can see our forecast, this dark blue line. We can see our uncertainty levels, which are these lighter blue areas, right? And then we can see the observed data points, which is Bitcoin's price. All right, so this is just a visual of what the price will be by the end of year 2025, right? So it's actually right behind that that legend there, but let's just go ahead and get rid of it for now. And let's run this so we can see that more clearly. All right, so there we go. We can see these, these price predictions here. All right, so that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and do the same thing for the other two data sets that we have loaded. So if I go back over here, I have ETH and Sol. So we're going to do ETH, which is Ethereum. So ETH. So we're getting the Ethereum data set. I'm going to click on Run Time, and I'm going to click on Run Cell and Below. So this is going to run this cell and every other cell below it. All right, so now we can take a look at the data set. It is from, or it has data from November 9th, 2017 to December 18th, 2024, so approximately seven years of data. We have 2,597 rows, and then we have our three columns from above here. The main two that we care about are DS and Y. Okay, and of course, Y being the price and DS being the date time or the date. All right, then we have initialized the model and we created our future data frame. And now here we're making the model's predictions. So let's see what we can expect the price to be for Ethereum by December 18th, 2025. So I can expect the price to be about $4,554.50 by 12-18-2025. And of course, this is the upper bound and this is the lower bound here, all right? So I'm gonna go back up here. As of December 18, 2024, the price is about $3,870. So it looks like it will be increasing by about $700, right? That's what we can expect. Okay, and then we can see this visually here in our graph. And then last but not least, let's go ahead and go back up here. Let's put in our Solana data set. That's our other cryptocurrency. I'm gonna click on runtime and I'm gonna click run cell and below. All right, and now we can see that this data starts from 4-10-2020 all the way to 12-18-2024. So about four years of data here. We have 1,714 rows of data. And let's go down and take a look at our predictions for this data set for Solana. So we can expect Solana's price to be $341.53 by December 18, 2025. And of course, we can see this more visually. And we see these intervals are much wider, much, much wider. Okay, so it looks like it has the potential to go all the way to $487.74 or all the way down to $193.47. And let's see what is it at right now. Right now, or as of 12 18, 2024, is at $216.57. So that's a that's still a pretty decent increase. All right. So 
that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching this video and a special thanks to the Patreon supporters on patreon.com. Again, if you would like to become a supporter to get this code or get the data sets or to just support the channel, then you can do that on Patreon at patreon.com slash computer science. And I will leave a link for that in the description below. Thank you all for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it was informative and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.